are countless ingredients that make up the human body and mind, like all the components that make up me as an individual with my own personality. Sure, I have a face and voice to distinguish myself from others, but my thoughts and memories are unique only to me, and I carry a sense of my own destiny. Each of those things are just a small part of it. I collect information to use in my own way. All of that blends to create a mixture that forms me and gives rise to my conscience. February 3rd, 2024. Serrano's kidnapping occurred two days earlier, but no announcements were made in order to keep the press at bay. This case was difficult as hell, and investigators didn't find a single clue. Then, ironically, it suddenly broke with that leak to the media. This was where it all began. Theatrical crime widely known as the Laughing Man incident. The M.O. resembles the threat against the Superintendent General. If the guy really did this all by himself, he's definitely a super class A hacker. February 3rd, 2024. Serrano's kidnapping occurred two days earlier, but no announcements were made in order to keep the press at bay. This case was difficult as hell, and investigators didn't find a single clue. Then, ironically, it suddenly broke with that media stunt. This is where it all began. A theatrical crime widely known as the Laughing Man Incident. This M.O. matches the threat against the Superintendent General. If this guy really did all this by himself, he's definitely a super class A hacker. I don't have an original body. Have you heard of Dr. Bakaru's emergency medicine system? I don't know the details, but years ago a number of civilians were apparently killed by a chemical weapon. A pregnant woman and the man assumed to be her husband were among the victims. I don't even know their names. By coincidence, someone on the scene had the right equipment and they were able to salvage the brain of the fetus. The point is that I lack any memory of a body. So this phantom pain is the ghost of a memory I don't have, a false idea that has entered into my mind. My mind is human. My body is manufactured. I'm the first of my kind, but I won't be the last. We cling to memories as if they define us. But what we do defines us. My ghost survived to remind the next of us that humanity is our virtue. I know who I am and what I'm here to do.